Hey guys, Bombbuster72. I'm back again for another review of a knife. I'm still looking for my perfect fixed blade for camping, hunting, hiking, and most importantly for survival. Today's knife is the Wenkoa Big Squeeze by Deep Sea. This is a dive knife, but it's a knife I happen to own, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's a titanium fixed blade. I really like titanium knives. I like the idea of being able to put away a knife a little bit damp and not have to worry about coming back and finding it all pitted and rusted up. This knife has a tanto point, and it does have a full tang, as you can see here. They call it the big squeeze because it has these little squeeze-in points on the side, and this allows it some really good retention in the included dive sheath. The blade is four and a half inches long, and it's made out of a beta alloy titanium, and the overall length is nine and a half inches. Now, as you can see, this is nearly a double-edged blade. The serrated top portion here doesn't come quite to the end there, and it also up here has a line cutter. Now it does come with this dive sheath. It does have a, an attachment for your belt, but it rides really high and it's kind of a little awkward position to get it out of. The list price on this knife is about $105, but you can find it for anywhere from $70 to $80 online. Now before we get to the test, I want to make a little bit of a caveat. The from the factory edge, really, I couldn't even cut through parachute cord without really getting into it. So I had to touch up the edge a little bit. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, so let's get on with the test. But anyway, let's see how well of a edge I put on it. And then we'll see if it retains any of that edge. Yeah, it cut through it. So let's see, see how it does with some leather here. All right, so we're gonna try this a different way. Well, it did cut through the leather. And I think a lot of that is just this, this knife is so lightweight, it's really hard to drive very far into here, especially with this tanto point. It just doesn't want to uh, grab a hold there. But let's see how well it does with some chopping. I'm, honestly, I'm not expecting much. The knife is so lightweight, I, I don't know what to expect. Okay, here we go. One problem is, being that this edge is pretty much a double edge, you really can't put any weight on the back side of there with your hand or you would definitely slice yourself open. And that's something you need to pay attention to if you're using this knife for sure. As far as tinder goes, it does okay. As good as to be expected, I suppose. And obviously it splits small kindling just fine. Let's see how well it does on our log here. All right, I'm just tired of doing it. Not really making a lot of progress. Obviously, it'd be fine for some really small limbs, but you're not gonna take anything large and chop it up with this knife. I do want to specify that this is a dive knife. I'm not so sure that this is really the best knife for this. Let's see how well it kept its edge, though. <laughs> just to check that out. So let's try it on the parachute cord again. Alright, so I had to really put something into that to get it to cut, but it still cut it fairly decently though. Now as far as cutting the leather goes, I'm just going to cut this small piece and hope it will work being a smaller piece, but... So I did make it through there eventually. I don't know if that's a testament to the knife having lack of ability there or my lack of being able to sharpen the knife. I would say that it lost a little bit of its edge. It seemed a little tougher with the parachute cord to get it going and really didn't do a horrible job, but it definitely did not do a great job either. So 
As far as some of the good things, I really like the titanium blade. I, again, I like the idea of being able to put it away a little bit wet and not have to worry about it. Also, the retention in the sheath is really good. You're not getting that out of there unless you mean to. Now, as far as the bad goes, well, quite frankly, this is definitely not a camping, hiking survival knife. Chopping is really non-existent. You would not want to spend a lonely, cold night trying to use this to chop wood. Also, the factory edge is just, it's pure garbage. It came very dull. I had to put an edge on it, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do any of the tests. Now, I can't say anything as far as diving goes because I don't dive. And maybe this is a great dive knife. But as far as a utility type knife, I would say this is a pass. Till next time, guys, take care and be safe.